Hey everyone, how's it going? HD Diesel here. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of my room, show you guys what I have in my room, um, but more importantly, my game setup, because that's what most people are usually interested in. So what we'll do, we'll start off is once you walk through the door, um, I have two closets, which I don't actually use for clothes, I use a smaller bedroom for that. Um, it's pretty much storage for all of my computer stuff. Um, if you don't know me, I am a big computer guy. I love building with them, messing with them, so on and so forth. I actually have two computers down there um, that I still have to finish building that are just going to be secondary home rigs, um, not including the ones I already have downstairs. Uh, but we'll get into some of the uh, what I actually have up here. We'll start up on top first. Uh, we have a few little totes. Um, this one's basically just got like some cables and whatnot. Um, I have some extra hard drives and some more cables in there. Box for a surround sound system, which honestly I just don't use. Um, I have an old modem, uh, a wireless extender, um, and I do believe actually a second modem in there also uh, that I don't use. Over here on the top shelf, I have my weight training vest. Um, what do I use that for? Well, I'm a firefighter. Um, so that's my way of conditioning, carrying um, some extra weight. That's my that's a 60 pound vest over there. So during the summer, I usually walk around with that. Um, I usually have it on um, pretty much at all times to constantly have myself um, prepared to carry that extra weight. Um, so we'll move down here, have my desk. Um, I'm a country boy, so camo is pretty much my thing, hence the green and brown uh, walls. Okay, but well let's get into some of the parts and some of the brands that I know, love, and trust. Um, EVGA is a big one. Um, I've, I used this video card in a previous build, um, and even the 560Ti, uh, which were in builds that I've actually um, since got rid of. Um, same thing with Thermaltake. That was the power supply inside that one. Um, Elgato, uh, for all you console gamers out there, you guys know that. Um, Intel, my hands down choice pick for anything processor wise. Um, great product, um, and they do a damn good job um, at putting together um, really good products. We have Gigabit, that's a uh, the current motherboard I'm actually running, as well as this video card, uh, it's the GTX 760. Uh, it's the overclocked 4 gig version. Uh, the headset I use, Astro E40s 2013 edition. This is the water cooling I currently have. The Corsair H100i. Um, I'm going to be dipping into some overclocking soon, and that will do everything I need. Also, this is the uh, the power supply I'm currently running. It's a Seasonic. 860 watt, uh, 80 plus platinum um, power supply, fully modular. Um, it is a beast of a power supply, um, and will power a secondary video card. I'm probably going to get another 760, um, or just get rid of that and run um, something even you know a little bit more powerful. Um, then I have Blast from the Past, which is my favorite card. Um, in the in an old school computer I had, which is a uh, the PNY 9800 GT. It's one gig. It's the performance edition. That was a uh, a card I loved uh, for a long time. Uh, back when I was playing like Unreal Tournament and whatnot. Not computer related. Uh, life proof for my iPhone. Um, that case has saved my phone probably about a thousand times already. Um, pricey but it saves you money in the long run. Um, then over on this closet, I pretty much just have storage bin, which has, uh, it's got some papers up here. Um, I got some tools in there, um, and a crap load of um, cables here. Um, in another bedroom, I have another one of these that's full of just computer wires and whatnot. Uh, old keyboard, which I don't really use anymore. I have my paint for here. Box of more computer parts, cables, um, and all that other fun stuff. A printer, which I never use, um, and that's pretty much that. Going over here, another storage uh, cabinet, which actually just has more painting supplies. 
uh, team real tree all the way uh, over here it's gonna be hard to see because I got a glare uh, this is a certificate that I got um, it's signed by the mayor of North Tonawanda basically stating that I became a volunteer firefighter hi how's it going uh, picture of me when I was in the military um, that was my basic training picture picture of my sister uh, brother-in-law and nephew those are just some of the uh, badges I have obviously this is from uh, my inform along with that and that up there um, Department of Homeland Security badge uh, as well as my volunteer firefighter badge nothing much on there really <laughs> just have my uh, multi-surface uh, duster uh, queen size bed that's where all the magic doesn't happen um, but my dog loves to sleep there over here I have an 80s style uh, receiver and two pioneer speakers honestly it's old school but it sounds better than a lot of the new stuff um, out there my moose hat because you can never uh, can't be serious all the time so I throw that I'll throw that on on, uh, on a few streams and we'll go from there uh, some of you may ask why why do I have a, a desk mount there I actually have a third monitor on its way here um, that'll be going there um, just so I can run some secondary uh, programs on that that'll pretty much allow me to uh, monitor all my temperatures and whatnot on my computer as for the setup itself don't mind the cardboard back there and the duct and the duct tape I actually broke the uh, the other side for my air conditioner and I'm waiting for the new one to come in the mail so that's a temporary fix but hey that's how you know I am real when I got duct tape to fix uh, all my problems over here I'll let me move my chair out of the way over here we have the actual computer set up um, as you can see I have my X split open but we'll close that um, over here I'll give you an overview of everything that I have on my desk um, I will start from we'll go left to right Tim Hortons coffee can't go a day without it um, this is my fuel and that's that um, got my radio uh, all volunteers have one so we get called out that's what that's for obviously um, I have my uh, blue snowball it is a great mic I love it that'll be getting upgraded soon does the job but giving that to a friend of mine who will probably see this video at some point uh, when I upgrade um, you'll notice I have two monitors uh, they're both uh, Dell's they're actually professional series but they actually do one hell of a job for gaming uh, they are the P2412s um, full 1080p monitors um, and when I'm playing games you can you can definitely you can definitely tell um, I have a Logitech HD webcam up there uh, for my for keyboard this is probably one of my favorite things actually about the setup the Logitech uh, G710 plus um, with Cherry MX Brown switches they're nice and clicky I like I like the clicking aspect uh, just knowing that I'm, I'm you know pushing down on the keys and having that feedback is is great notepads and pencil in case I ever have to take quick notes um, I have um, a Logitech set of speakers it's 5.1 um, but I don't really use those much unless I'm listening to music I have a Logitech um, G7S gaming mouse um, this is the mouse I definitely 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 recommend if you like your wireless mouse um, because you don't actually you have that extra cable but one of the big things I love about it is that when it does die you can actually just toss it on uh, this cable and you can actually use it just like a regular wired mouse uh, while it's charging and it's great um, it's got great shape um, it's got a lot of extra buttons on it it's got four thumb buttons up here three more up here on the uh, left mouse button uh, you got a few extra buttons here for profiles and setting your uh, the speed as you can tell on the side um, it's an overall great mouse like a great uh, life expectancy out of that move over here we have the controls for my speakers and for the Astro A40 headset this is the mix amp for it this is my Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3 I have an S4 downstairs but I always have um, 
two phones for the most part. Over here, like I said, I was a country boy. Have my antler lamp. Astro 40 headset. Uh, probably one of the best headsets I've ever used. Um, the only other one I would use besides this, uh, the Steel uh, Series uh, Siberia V2s. They're probably the most comfortable headset uh, with the suspension bridges I have um, for the top of your head. It is absolutely comfortable and the sound is great. The only thing I don't like about these is you don't exactly have the bass that I prefer, but again, it is what it is. Great headset, great volume. I can sound for it like a champ in just about any game I play. Over there I just have uh, my battery charger uh, for my AA batteries that actually go inside my uh, radio. Over here we have probably the powerhouse um, that everybody wants to see. Uh, just give me a second so I can undo my thumb screws because I forgot to do it before starting this. Alright, there we go. Sorry if this video is a little long, but again, it is a room tour, so give me a break. Ah, okay. There we go. Uh, we'll start off with we'll start off with the case. Um, it is a fractal uh, fractal design. Um, I forgot exactly which one it was, um, but I wanted something smaller, more compact. It is a mini uh, ATX case. Uh, let me actually just stick with one color on my lights because it's gonna throw the camera off. Um, let's go with red. And as you can see, I'm actually changing it via the uh, the controller on the front. All right, there we go. Um, now we'll get to everything on the inside. I know you should tilt this so it'll be easier to see. All right, in here we have the Seasonic 860 watt power supply that I was telling you guys about. Um, I have 500 uh, 500 gig. Um, Western Digital Black um, hard drive that's just for all my storage and programs that don't need to be on my solid state drive. On top of that I have Samsung 250 gig uh, Evo uh, SSD. Um, absolutely great. Uh, speeds up a lot of the aspects on the computer greatly. Um, go to the front real quick. I have an Asus uh, CD drive. Nothing, nothing fancy there that ever rarely ever gets used. Uh, my the Gigabyte GTX 760 4 gig graphics card I showed you the box for uh, not too long ago. Um, I have Corsair Silent Series fans uh, pretty much throughout the case. Yep, that light just fell. Oh well. Um, I got the two in the front. I have the one on the back. As you can tell. Uh, then I have two more up on the radiator for the Corsair H100i uh, liquid cooler. Um, I'm packing 16 gigs of uh, SS, er, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM. Um, as you can tell, primarily it was a black and red design um, for this, although the power supply kind of throws it off. Um, but you can see the RAM back there. Got my trusty flashlight. Um, it's a great, it's a, it's a great computer. Um, it's an absolute powerhouse. It does literally everything I needed to, and then some. Um, other than, other than that, um, processor-wise, I'm rocking a Intel Core i7 4770K at 3.5 gigahertz. It is hyper-threaded. Um, I am tempting. To, or I'm probably going to overclock it to about uh, 4.0. Um, or somewhere around that area just to, well, just because. Um, other than that, that is pretty much my setup. Um, this is my first one, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Over the, over the few months, or the next few months, things will start to change. Um, I'm getting new monitors, um, possibly changing a few things inside the case. Um, and who knows, who knows? I, I like changing my setup quite frequently. Uh, because again, I like technology, I love computers, um, and I'm never fully satisfied with a computer. So I'm constantly changing everything. But this is my setup. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you can, like like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hell, even leave a video response showing me your gaming setup and why you chose what you chose. 
I will I would, uh, do a video later on to explaining why I chose every part that is in this computer as well as all my peripherals um, and we will pretty much go from there. Alright, this is HD Diesel and I hope you have a great day.